What is Stib Knight? Stib Knight is a leap gray mineral, SB2S3, with a metallic luster. It is the most important ore of antimony, and is also known as antimony glands. One of the few minerals that fuse easily in a match flame, 977 degrees Fahrenheit or 525 degrees Celsius. Stibnite has a hardness of 2 on the Mohs scale and a specific gravity of 4.5 to 4.6. It is commonly found in hydrothermal veins or hot springs deposits. Stibnite is mined in Germany, Romania, France, Bolivia, Peru, and Mexico. The Yellow Pine Mine at Stibnite, Idaho, is the largest producer in the United States. But California and Nevada also have deposits. When was cement first used? Cements are finely ground powders that, when mixed with water, set to a hard mass. The cement used by the Egyptians was calc and gypsum. And both the Greeks and Romans used a cement of calc and limestone. Roman concrete, a mixture of cement, sand, and some other fine aggregate, was made of broken brick embedded in a pozzolanic lime mortar. This mortar consisted of lime putty mixed with brick dust or volcanic ash. Hardening was produced by a prolonged chemical reaction. Between these components in the presence of moisture, with the decline of the Roman Empire, concrete fell into disuse. The first step toward its reintroduction was in 1756, when English engineer John Smeaton 1724-1792 found that when lime containing a certain amount of clay was burned, it would set under water. This cement resembled what had been made by the Romans. Further investigations by James Parker in the same decade led to the commercial production of natural hydraulic cement. In 1824, Englishman Joseph Aspden, 1799-1855, obtained a patent for what he called Portland cement. A material produced from a synthetic mixture of limestone and clay. He called it Portland because it resembled a building stone that was quarried on the Isle of Portland off the coast of Dorset. The manufacture of the cement spread rapidly to Europe and the United States by 1870. Today, concrete is often reinforced or pressed rest, increasing its load-bearing capabilities. When were liquid crystals discovered? Liquid crystals were observed by the Austrian botanist Friedrich Reinitzer 1857 to 1927 in 1888. He noticed that the solid organic compound cholesterol benzoate became a cloudy liquid at 293 degrees Fahrenheit. 145 degrees Celsius, and a clear liquid at 354 degrees Fahrenheit 179 degrees Celsius. The following year, the German physicist Otto Lehmann, 
1855 to 1922. Used a microscope with a heating stage to determine that some molecules do not melt directly but first pass through a phase. When they flow like a liquid but maintain the molecular structure and properties of a solid. He coined the phrase liquid crystal to describe this substance. Further experimentation showed that if an electrical charge is passed through a liquid crystal material, the liquid will line up according to the direction of the electrical field. Liquid crystals are used for electronic panel displays. What does the expression tiling the plane mean? It is a mathematical expression describing the process of forming a mosaic pattern. A tessellation, by fitting together an infinite number of polygons so that they cover an entire plane. Tessellations are the familiar patterns that can be seen in designs for quilts, floor coverings, and bathroom tile work. Are freshwater clams an endangered group? Although freshwater clams are found on every continent except Antarctica, they are now considered one of the most jeopardized groups of animals in the world. Approximately 270 species belong to the family Unionidae, found in North America. A total of 72% of our 270 native mussel species are listed as recently extinct. Endangered, threatened, or of special concern due to human impact on aquatic habitat, commercial harvesting. The introduction of carp, water pollution, and the invasion of zebra mussels. What is crown glass? In the early 1800s, window glass was called crown glass. It was made by blowing a bubble, then spinning it until flat. This left a sheet of glass with a bump, or crown, in the center. This blowing method of window pane making required great skill and was very costly. Still, the finished crown glass produced a distortion through which everything looked curiously wavy. And the glass itself was also faulty and uneven. By the end of the 19th century, flat glass was mass-produced and was a common material. The cylinder method replaced the old method, and used compressed air to produce glass that could be slit lengthwise reheated, and allowed to flatten on an iron table under its own weight. New furnaces and better polishing machines made the production of plate glass a real industry. Today, almost all flat glass is produced by a float glass process, which reheats the newly formed ribbon of glass and allows it to cool without touching a solid surface. This produces inexpensive glass that is flat and free from distortion. What are the types of human body shapes?
the best known example of body typing, classifying body shape in terms of physiological functioning. Behavior and disease resistance was devised by American psychologist William Herbert Sheldon, 1898 to 1977. Sheldon's system, known as somatotyping, distinguishes three types of body shapes. Ignoring overall size, endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. The extreme endomorph tends to be spherical, a round head, a large, fat abdomen. Weak penguin-like arms and legs, with heavy upper arms and thighs but slender wrists and ankles. The extreme mesomorph is characterized by a massive cubical head. Broad shoulders and chest, and heavy muscular arms and legs. The extreme ectomorph has a thin face, receding chin. High forehead, a thin, narrow chest and abdomen, and spindly arms and legs. In Sheldon's system there are mixed body types, determined by component ratings. Sheldon assumed a close relationship between body build and behavior and temperament. This system of body typing has many critics. What is the carbon cycle? To survive, every organism must have access to carbon atoms. Carbon makes up about 49% of the dry weight of organisms. The carbon cycle includes movement of carbon from the gaseous phase. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, to solid phase. Carbon containing compounds in living organisms, and then back to the atmosphere via decomposers. The atmosphere is the largest reservoir of carbon, containing 32% CO2. Biological Processes on land shuttle carbon between atmospheric and terrestrial compartments. With photosynthesis removing CO2 from the atmosphere and cell respiration returning CO2 to the atmosphere. When is a sonic boom heard? As long as an airborne object, such as a plane, is moving below the speed of sound. Called Mach 1, the disturbed air remains well in front of the craft. But as the craft passes Mach 1 and is flying at supersonic speeds, a sharp air pressure rise occurs in front of the craft. In a sense, the air molecules are crowded together and collectively impact. What is heard is a clap like thunder called a sonic boom or a supersonic bang. There are many shocks coming from a supersonic aircraft, but these shocks usually combine to form two main shocks. One coming from the nose and one from the aft end of the aircraft. Each of the shocks moves at a different velocity. If the time difference between the two shock waves is greater than 0.10 seconds apart, Two sonic booms will be heard. This usually occurs when an aircraft ascends or descends quickly. If the aircraft moves more slowly, the two booms will sound like only one boom to the listener. How many eggs does a spider lay?
The number of eggs varies according to the species. Some larger spiders lay over 2,000 eggs. But many tiny spiders lay one or two and perhaps no more than a dozen during their lifetime. Spiders of average size probably lay a hundred or so. Most spiders lay all their eggs at one time and enclose them in a single egg sac. Others lay eggs over a period of time and enclose them in a number of egg sacs. What is the composition of you? S coins currently in circulation. During colonial times, coins were composed of gold, silver, and copper. The U.S. Mint produced gold coins until 1933, during the Great Depression. The silver in quarters and dimes was replaced in 1966. Today, nickels, dimes, quarters, and half dollars are composed of copper and nickel. They have a copper core and an outer layer composed of a 75% copper, 25% nickel alloy. Pennies, once copper coins, are now composed of copper plated zinc. Which you? S states recycle the most per year. There are differences in the amount each state recycles. California recycles the most tonnage per year. When does Menarch typically begin? Menarch, from the Greek, meaning beginning the monthly, is the first menses, or menstrual cycle, of a girl's life. It usually begins between the ages of 11 and 12. Does the moon have an atmosphere? The moon does have an atmosphere, however it is very slight. Having a density of about 50 atoms per cubic centimeter. Recently, scientists have discovered frozen water on the moon. What are stem cells and what are some potential uses of such cells? Stem cells are undifferentiated cells meaning that they do not have a specific function that are capable under certain conditions of producing cells that can become a specific type of tissue. Stem cells could be used to grow new hearts that could be transplanted without fear of rejection. They could be used to renew the function of injured structures like the spinal cord. They could be used as cell models for drug testing, thereby increasing the speed for finding cures. The potential benefits of stem cells have made the laboratory studies and research investigating these cells very exciting, yet controversial.
What is the Pythagorean theorem? In a right triangle, one where two of the sides meet in a 90 degree angle. The hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. The Pythagorean theorem, also known as the rule of Pythagoras, states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, h2 equals a 2 plus b2. If the lengths of the sides are, h equals 5 inches, a equals 4 inches, and b equals 3 inches, then h equals backslash slash, a 2 plus b2, equals backslash slash, 42 plus 32, equals backslash slash, 16 plus 9, equals backslash slash 25 equals 5. The theorem is named for the Greek philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras. C580 C500 BCE Pythagoras is credited with the theory of the functional significance of numbers in the objective world and numerical theories of musical pitch. As he left no writings, the Pythagorean theorem may actually have been formulated by one of his disciples. What are the macronutrients and micronutrients of plants? The macronutrients of plants are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and sulfur. These all are nearly or in some cases far greater than 1% of the dry weight of a plant. The micronutrients are iron, chlorine, copper, manganese, zinc, molybdenum, and boron. Each of the micronutrients constitutes less than one to several hundred parts per million in plants. Sodium, silicon, cobalt, and selenium are beneficial elements. Research has not shown that these elements are essential for plant growth and development. Which animal has the longest gestation period? The animal with the longest gestation period is not a mammal. It is the viviparous amphibian the alpine black salamander, which can have a gestation period of up to 38 months at altitudes above 4,600 feet, 1,402 meters, in the Swiss Alps. It bears two fully metamorphosed young. What is Red Dog? Red Dog is the residue from burned coal dumps. The dumps are composed of waste products incidental to coal mining. Under pressure in these waste dumps, the waste frequently ignites from spontaneous combustion. Producing a red colored ash, which is used for driveways, parking lots, and roads. Why do people snore and how loud can snoring be? Snoring is produced by vibrations of the soft palate. Usually caused by any condition that hinders breathing through the nose.
it is more common while sleeping on the back. Research has indicated that a snore can reach 69 decibels. As compared to 70 to 90 decibels for a pneumatic drill. What is the matrix in blood? Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets, thrombocytes, which are tiny pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. Where is the North Star? If an imaginary line is drawn from the North Pole into space, it will reach a star called Polaris, or the North Star, less than one degree away from the line. As Earth rotates on its axis, Polaris acts as a pivot point around which all the stars visible in the northern hemisphere appear to move, while Polaris itself remains motionless. Identifying Polaris was important for navigation since in locating Polaris it was possible to identify north. In addition, the angle of Polaris above the horizon indicates latitude on Earth. When was the bald eagle adopted as the national bird of the United States? On June 20, 1782, the citizens of the newly independent United States of America adopted the bald or American eagle as their national emblem. At first the heraldic artists depicted a bird that could have been a member of any of the larger species. But by 1902, the bird portrayed on the seal of the United States of America had assumed its proper white plumage on the head and tail. The choice of the bald eagle was not unanimous, Benjamin Franklin, 1706-1790, preferred the wild turkey. Oftentimes a tongue-in-cheek humorist, Franklin thought the turkey a wily but brave, intelligent, and prudent bird. He viewed the eagle on the other hand as having a bad moral character and not getting his living honestly. Preferring instead to steal fish from hard-working fish hawks. He also found the eagle a coward that readily flees. From the irritating attacks of the much smaller king bird. What are the most commonly collected debris items found along ocean coasts? Debris found along ocean coasts is categorized as land-based, ocean-based, or general source debris. Land-based debris blows, washes, or is discharged into the water from land areas. 
land-based debris originates with beachgoers, fishermen, and shore-based manufacturers. Processing facilities and waste management facilities Boating and fishing activities are often sources of ocean-based debris. During a five-year study from 2001 to 2006, a total of 238. 103 items of debris were collected from various sites along the nation's coasts. Land-based debris accounted for 52% of the total, general source debris accounted for 34% of the total. And ocean-based debris accounted for 14% of the total. What is the most successful and diverse group of terrestrial vertebrates? Birds, members of the class Aves, are the most successful of all terrestrial vertebrates. There are 28 orders of living birds with almost 10,000 species distributed over almost the entire Earth. The success of birds is basically due to the development of the feather. What is antimatter? Antimatter is the exact opposite of normal matter. Antimatter was predicted in a series of equations derived by Paul Dirac, 1902 to 1984. He was attempting to combine the theory of relativity with equations governing the behavior of electrons. In order to make his equations work, he had to predict the existence of a particle that would be similar to the electron, but opposite in charge. This particle, discovered in 1932, was the antimatter equivalent of the electron and called the positron, electrons with a positive charge. Other antimatter particles would not be discovered until 1955 when particle accelerators were finally able to confirm the existence of the antineutron and antiproton, protons with a negative charge. Antiatoms, pairings of positrons and antiprotons, are other examples of antimatter. How is the light in fireflies produced? The light produced by fireflies, fought inus pyroles, or lightning bugs, is a kind of heatless light called bioluminescence. It is caused by a chemical reaction in which the substance luciferin undergoes oxidation when the enzyme luciferase is present. The flash is a photon of visible light that radiates when the oxidating chemicals produce a high energy state, which then revert back to their normal state. The flashing is controlled by the nervous system and takes place in special cells called photocytes. The nervous system, photocytes, and the tracheal end organs control the flashing rate. The air temperature also seems to be correlated with the flashing rate. The higher the temperature, the shorter the interval between flashes 8 seconds at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. 18.3 degrees Celsius, and 4 seconds at 82 degrees Fahrenheit 27.7 degrees Celsius. 
scientists are uncertain as to why this flashing occurs. The rhythmic flashes could be a means of attracting prey or enabling mating fireflies to signal in heliographic codes that differ from one species to another, or they could serve as a warning signal. What is the Big Dipper? The Big Dipper is a group of seven stars that are part of the constellation Ursa Major. They appear to form a sort of bowl, composed of four stars, with a long handle, composed of three stars. The group is known as the Plough in Great Britain. The Big Dipper is almost always visible in the Northern Hemisphere. It serves as a convenient reference point when locating other stars, for example. An imaginary line drawn from the two end stars of the Dipper leads to Polaris, the North Star. How does a food chain function? A food chain is the transfer of food energy from the source in plants through a series of organisms eating and being eaten by other organisms. Food chains overlap because many organisms eat more than one type of food, so that these chains can look more like food webs. In 1891 German zoologist Karl Semper, 1832 to 1893, introduced the food chain concept. How many leaves are on a mature tree? Leaves are one of the most conspicuous parts of a tree. A maple tree, genus Acer, with a trunk 3 feet, 1 meter, wide has approximately 100,000 leaves. Oak, genus Quercus, trees have approximately 700,000 leaves. Mature American elm, Ulmus americana, trees can produce more than 5 million leaves per season. Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. And western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil. And it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 inches, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles. The Chinese desert cat, Felis biotis, does not live in the desert as its name implies. But inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Felis sylvestris or nata. Inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia.
How do neurons transmit information to other neurons? Most neurons communicate with other neurons or muscle by releasing chemicals called neurotransmitters. These transmitters influence receptors on other neurons. In a few specialized places, neurons communicate directly with other neurons via pores called gap junctions. What determines skin color? Three factors contribute to skin color, one, the amount and kind, yellow, reddish brown, or black, of melanin in the epidermis, two, the amount of carotene, yellow, in the epidermis and subcutaneous tissue, and three, the amount of oxygen bound to hemoglobin, red blood cell pigment, in the dermal blood cells. Skin color is genetically determined, for the most part. Differences in skin color result not from the number of melanocytes an individual has, but rather from the amount of melanin produced by the melanocytes and the size and distribution of the pigment granules. Although darker skinned people have slightly more melanocytes than those who are light skinned, the distribution of melanin in the higher levels of the epidermis contributes to their skin color. What is the oparin haldane hypothesis? In the 1920s, while working independently, Alexandro Parin, 1894-1980, and John Haldane, 1892-1964, both proposed scenarios for the prebiotic conditions on Earth. The conditions that would have allowed organic life to evolve. Although they differed on details. Both models described an early Earth with an atmosphere containing ammonia and water vapor. Both also surmised that the assemblage of organic molecules began in the atmosphere and then moved into the seas. The steps of the oparin haldane model are, organic molecules, including amino acids and nucleotides, are synthesized abiotically, without living cells. Organic building blocks in the prebiotic soup are assembled into polymers of proteins and nucleic acids. Biological polymers are assembled into a self-replicating organism that fed on the existing organic molecules. How do fleas jump so far? He jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called rhizylin. The rhizylin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the rhizylin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the rhizylin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. To match that record, 
a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 inches. 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 inches, 18.4 centimeters, in height. How many calories does a person burn while sleeping? A 150 pound, 68 kilogram, person burns one calorie per minute during bed rest. The approximate Caloric expenditure of other activities for a person weighing 150 pounds are given below. Actual numbers may vary, depending on the vigor of the exercise, air temperature, clothing, etc. How deep is the ocean? The average depth of the ocean floor is 13,124 feet, 4,000 meters. There are great variations in depth because the ocean floor is often very rugged. The greatest depth variations occur in deep, narrow depressions known as trenches along the margins of the continental plates. The deepest measurements made 36,198 feet, 11,034 meters. Deeper than the height of the world's tallest mountains were taken in Mariana Trench east of the Mariana Islands. In January 1960, the French oceanographer Jacques Picard, 1922-2008, together with the U.S. Navy Lieutenant David Walsh, took the Bathyscap Trieste to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. What first aid measures can be used for a bite by a black widow spider? The black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, is common throughout the United States. Its bite is severely poisonous, but no first aid measures are of value. Age, body size, and degree of sensitivity determine the severity of symptoms, which include an initial pinprick with a dull numbing pain, followed by swelling. An ice cube may be placed over the bite to relieve pain. Between 10 and 40 minutes after the bite, severe abdominal pain and rigidity of stomach muscles develop. Muscle spasms in the extremities, ascending paralysis, and difficulty in swallowing and breathing may follow. The mortality rate is less than 1% but anyone who has been bitten should see a doctor. The elderly, infants, and those with allergies are most at risk and may require hospitalization. Why don't woodpeckers get headaches? Woodpeckers' skulls are particularly sturdy to withstand the force of the blows as they hammer with their beaks. They are further aided by strong neck muscles to support their heads.
What was the first mammal to be successfully cloned? The first mammal cloned from adult cells was Dolly, and you born 0 and July 5. 1996 Dolly was born in a research facility in Scotland. Ian Wilmoot, 1944, led the team of biologists that removed a nucleus from a mammary cell of an adult U and transplanted it into an enucleated egg extracted from a second U. Electrical pulses were administered to fuse the nucleus with its new host. When the egg began to divide and develop into an embryo, it was transplanted into a surrogate mother U. Dolly was the genetic twin of the U that donated the mammary cell nucleus. On April 13, 1998, Dolly gave birth to Bonnie the product of a normal mating between Dolly and a Welsh mountain ram. This event demonstrates that Dolly was a healthy, fertile sheep, able to produce healthy offspring. Dolly was euthanized on February 14, 2003. Because she had severe arthritis and a progressive lung disease that was caused by the retrovirus JSRV. What is the difference between spelunking and speleology? Spelunking, or sport caving, is exploring caves as a hobby or for recreation. Speleology is the scientific study of caves and related phenomena. Why is Archaeopteryx important? Archaeopteryx is the first known bird. It had true feathers that provided insulation and allowed this animal to form scoops with its wings for catching prey. When was Java developed? Java was released by Sun Microsystems in 1995. A team of developers headed by James Gosling. 1955, began working on a refinement of C++ that ultimately led to Java. Unlike other computer languages, which are either compiled or interpreted. Java compiles the source code into a format called bytecode. The bytecode is then executed by an interpreter. Java was adapted to the emerging World Wide Web and formed the basis of the Netscape Internet Browser. What are the two phases of breathing? Breathing, or ventilation, is the process of moving air into and out of the lungs. The two phases are, 1, inspiration, or inhalation, and 2, expiration, or exhalation. Inspiration is the movement of air into the lungs. While expiration is the movement of air out of the lungs. The respiratory cycle consists of one inspiration followed by one expiration. The volume of air that enters or leaves during a single respiratory cycle is called the tidal volume. 
tidal volume is typically 500 milliliters. Meaning that 500 milliliters of air enters during inspiration and the same amount leaves during expiration. Which industries release the most toxic chemicals? The metal mining industry released the most toxic chemicals for the year 2008. Accounting for 30% of total chemical releases. Which two gems contain the mineral corundum? Both rubies and sapphires contain the mineral corundum, Al203. Chromium, Cr, ions replace small amounts of aluminum in rubies giving them their characteristic red color. In sapphires, iron, Fe, and titanium, Ti. Ions replace some of the aluminum producing the characteristic blue color. What is the name of the early Jurassic mammal that is now extinct? The fossil site of the mammal Hadracodium wuyi was in Yunnan province, China. This newly described mammal is at least 195 million years old. The estimated weight of the whole mammal is about 0.07 ounces, 2 grams. Its tiny skull was smaller than a human thumbnail. What is a tabby cat? Tabby, the basic feline coat pattern, dates back to the time before cats were domesticated. The tabby coat is an excellent form of camouflage. Each hair has two or three dark and light bands, with the tip always dark. There are four variations on the basic tabby pattern. The mackerel, also called striped or tiger, tabby has a dark line running down the back. From the head to the base of the tail, with several stripes branching down the sides. The legs have stripes, and the tail has even rings with a dark tip. There are two rows of dark spots on the stomach. Above the eyes is a mark shaped like an M and dark lines run back to the ears. Two dark necklace-like bands appear on the chest. The blotched. Or classic, tabby markings seem to be the closest to those found in the wild. The markings on the head, legs, tail, and stomach are the same as the mackerel tabby. The major difference is that the blotched tabby has dark patches on the shoulder and side. Rimmed by one or several lines. The spotted tabby has uniformly shaped round or oval dark spots all over the body and legs. The forehead has an M on it, and a narrow, dark line runs down the back. The Abyssinian tabby has almost no dark markings on its body. They appear only on the forelegs, the flanks, and the tail. The hairs are banded except on the stomach, where they are light and unicolored.
What is nuclear magnetic resonance imaging? Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, sometimes called nuclear magnetic resonance imaging. NMR, is a non-invasive, non-ionizing diagnostic technique. It is useful in detecting small tumors, blocked blood vessels, or damaged vertebral discs. Because it does not involve the use of radiation, it can often be used where X-rays are dangerous. Large magnets beam energy through the body causing hydrogen atoms in the body to resonate. This produces energy in the form of tiny electrical signals. A computer detects these signals. Which vary in different parts of the body and according to whether an organ is healthy or not. The variation enables a picture to be produced on a screen and interpreted by a medical specialist. What distinguishes MRI from computerized X-ray scanners is that most X-ray studies cannot distinguish between a living body and a cadaver. While MRI sees the difference between life and death in great detail. More specifically, it can discriminate between healthy and diseased tissues with more sensitivity than conventional radiographic instruments like X-rays or CAT scans. CAT, Computerized Axial Tomography Scanners have been around since 1973 and are actually glorified X-ray machines. They offer three-dimensional viewing but are limited because the object imaged must remain still. The concept of using MRI to detect tumors in patients was proposed by Raymond Domedion. 1936, in a 1972 patent application. The fundamental MRI imaging concept used in all present-day MRI instruments was proposed by Paul Lauterbar. 1929 to 2007 in an article published in Nature in 1973 Lauterbur and Peter Mansfield 1933 were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2003 for their discoveries concerning magnetic resonance imaging The main advantages of MRI are that it not only gives superior images of soft tissues like organs, but can also measure dynamic physiological changes in a non-invasive manner. Without penetrating the body in any way. A disadvantage of MRI is that it cannot be used for every patient. For example, patients with implants, pacemakers or cerebral aneurysm clips made of metal cannot be examined using MRI because the machine's magnet could potentially move these objects within the body, causing damage. Who invented the computer mouse? A computer mouse is a handheld input device that, when rolled across a flat surface, causes a cursor to move in a corresponding way on a display screen. A prototype mouse was part of an input console demonstrated by Douglas C. Engelhardt, 1925, in 1968 at the Fall Joint Computer Conference in San Francisco. Popularized in 1984 by the Macintosh from Apple Computer, the mouse was the result of 15 years 
devoted to exploring ways to make communicating with computers simpler and more flexible. The physical appearance of the small box with the dangling, tail-like wire suggested the name of mouse. In recent years, the mouse has evolved into other shapes and forms. One type is the wireless or tailless mouse which does not have a cord to connect to the computer. Wireless mice use radio signals or infrared to connect to the computer. In the United States, what is the average height and weight for a man and a woman? The average female is 5 feet, 3.75 inches, 1.62 meters, tall and weighs 152 pounds, 69.09 kilograms. The average male is 5 feet, 9 inches, 1.75 meters, tall and weighs 180 pounds, 81.82 kilograms. Between 1960 and 2000 the average American male became 2 inches, 5 centimeters. Taller and 45 pounds, 20.45 kilograms, heavier while the average American woman also grew 2 inches. 5 centimeters, taller and gained 18 pounds, 8.18 kilogram. What is cubic zirconium? Cubic zirconium was discovered in 1937 by two German mineralogists, M. V. Stackelberg and K. Chudoba. It became popular with jewelry designers in the 1970s after Soviet scientists under the direction of V. V. Osaka learned how to grow the mineral in the Lebedev Physical Institute laboratory. Most of the cubic zirconium on the market is chemically composed of zirconium oxide and yttrium oxide. The two compounds are melted together at a very high temperature. Almost 5000 degrees Fahrenheit 2760 degrees Celsius, using the skull melt method. This method uses a radio frequency generator to heat the zirconium oxide. A careful cooling of the mixture produces the flawless crystals that become cubic zirconia gemstones. What is the difference between the cardiovascular system and the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system refers to the heart, cardio, and blood vessels, vascular. The circulatory system is a more general term encompassing the blood. Blood vessels, heart, lymph, and lymph vessels. What were some of the leading contributions of Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein was the principal founder of modern theoretical physics, his theory of relativity. Speed of light is a constant and not relative to the observer or source of light, and the relationship of mass and energy. E equals mc2, fundamentally changed human understanding of the physical world. During a single year in 1905, 
he produced three landmark papers. These papers dealt with the nature of particle movement known as Brownian motion. The quantum nature of electromagnetic radiation as demonstrated by the photoelectric effect, and the special theory of relativity. Although Einstein is probably best known for the last of these works. It was for his quantum explanation of the photoelectric effect that he was awarded the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics. His stature as a scientist, together with his strong humanitarian stance on major political and social issues, made him one of the outstanding men of the 20th century. What is the largest nerve in the body? The sciatic nerve is the largest in the human body about as thick as a lead pencil 0.78 inch, 1.98 centimeters. It is a broad, flat nerve composed of fibers that run from the spinal cord to the back of each leg. How does a cyclone differ from a hurricane or a tornado? All three wind phenomena are rotating winds that spiral in toward a low pressure center as well. As upward. Their differences lie in their size, wind velocity, rate of travel, and duration. Generally, the faster the winds spin, the shorter, in time, and smaller, in size, the event becomes. A cyclone has rotating winds from 10 to 60 miles per hour, 16 to 97 kilometers per hour. Can be up to 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers, in diameter. Travels about 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, and lasts from one to several weeks. A hurricane, or typhoon, as it is called in the Pacific Ocean area. Has winds that vary from 75 to 200 miles per hour, 120 to 320 kilometers per hour. Moves between 10 to 20 miles per hour, 16 to 32 kilometers per hour, can have a diameter up to 600 miles. 960 kilometers, and can exist from several days to more than a week. A tornado can reach a rotating speed of 300 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour. Travels between 25 to 40 miles per hour, 40 to 64 kilometers per hour. And generally lasts only minutes although some have lasted for five to six hours. Its diameter can range from 300 yards, 274 meters, to one mile, 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers. And its average path length is five miles, eight kilometers, with a maximum of 300 miles, 483 kilometers. Typhoons, hurricanes, and cyclones tend to breed in low-altitude belts over the oceans. Generally from 5 degrees to 15 degrees latitude north or south. A tornado generally forms several thousand feet above Earth's surface. Usually during warm, humid weather, many times it is in conjunction with a thunderstorm. Although a tornado can occur in many places, they mostly appear on the continental plains of North America. I.e., 
from the Plain States eastward to western New York and the southeastern Atlantic states. How does the anatomical usage of the word arm differ from the common usage? Anatomically, the word arm refers only to the humerus, the long bone between the shoulder and the elbow. Common usage refers to the entire length of the limb from the shoulder to the wrist as the arm. Does human hair grow faster in summer or winter? During the summertime, the rate of human hair growth increases by about 10% to 15%. This is because warm weather enhances blood circulation to the skin and scalp which in turn nourishes hair cells and stimulates growth. In cold weather, when blood is needed to warm internal organs, circulation to the body surface slows and hair cells grow less quickly. What is the order of colors in a rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet are the colors of the rainbow. But these are not necessarily the sequence of colors that an observer might see. Rainbows are formed when raindrops reflect sunlight. As sunlight enters the drops, the different wavelengths of the colors that Compose sunlight are refracted at different lengths to produce a spectrum of color. Each observer sees a different set of raindrops at a slightly different angle. Drops at different angles from the observer send different wavelengths. I.e., different colors, to the observer's eyes. Since the color sequence of the rainbow is the result of refraction, the color order depends on how the viewer sees this refraction from the viewer's angle of perception. Where is RNA formed? All RNA is formed in the nucleus, eukaryotic cells, or in the nucleoid region, prokaryotic cells. The principal enzyme responsible for RNA synthesis is RNA polymerase. What is the fastest growing land plant? Bamboo, Bambusa SPP. Native to tropical and subtropical regions of Southeast Asia and islands of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Is the plant that gains height most quickly. Bamboo can grow almost 3 feet, 1 meter, in 24 hours. This rapid growth is produced partly by cell division and partly by cell enlargement. What are the largest and smallest organelles in a cell? The largest organelle in a cell is the nucleus. 
The next largest organelle would be the chloroplast, which is substantially bigger than a mitochondrion. The smallest organelle in a cell is the ribosome. Are there any unsolved problems in mathematics? The earliest challenges and contests to solve important problems in Mathematics date back to the 16th and 17th centuries. Some of these problems have continued to challenge mathematicians until modern times. For example, Pierre de Fermat, 1601-1665, issued a set of mathematical challenges in 1657. Many on prime numbers and divisibility. The solution to what is now known as Fermat's last theorem was not established until the late 1990s by Andrew Wiles, 1953. David Hilbert, 1862-1943, a German mathematician, identified 23 unsolved problems in 1900 with the hope that these problems would be solved in the 21st century. Although some of the problems were solved, Others remain unsolved to this day. More recently, in 2000 the Clay Mathematics Institute named seven mathematical problems that had not been solved with the hope that they could be solved in the 21st century. A $1 million prize will be awarded for solving each of these seven problems. Why are lightning rods important? The lightning rod was invented by Benjamin Franklin, 1706 to 1790. Around 1750 following his experiment with the kite and the key. In 1752, Franklin tied a metal key to the end of kite string and flew it during a thunderstorm. Franklin suspected that lightning was a natural form of electricity. He knew that if lightning was electricity, it would be attracted to the metal key. When sparks jumped from the metal key, he understood that electrical current had traveled from the electrified air above down the kite string to the key. This experiment confirmed that lightning is an electrical phenomenon. A lightning rod is often placed on the top of buildings to attract lightning bolts. They are designed to provide a safe path to ground the electricity so that it does not damage the building. In recent years, Lightning rods have become even more important because the metal pipes that used to be installed for indoor plumbing and could serve as lightning rods are being replaced by non-conductive PVC pipes. Which chemical is used in greater quantities than any other? Sodium chloride, NaCl, or salt, has over 14,000 uses and is probably used in greater quantities and for more applications than any other chemical. What are the craters on the moon that are named for the famous Curie family?
Curie named for Pierre Curie, 1859-1906, French chemist and Nobel Prize winner. Sklodowska the family name of Marie Curie, 1867-1934, French physical chemist and Nobel Prize winner. Joliot named for physicist Frederick Joliot Curie, 1900-1958. Pierre and Marie's son-in-law and Nobel Prize winner. Which is colder the North Pole or the South Pole? The South Pole is considerably colder than the North Pole. The average temperature at the South Pole is minus 56 degrees Fahrenheit minus 49 degrees Celsius. Which is approximately 35 degrees lower than the average temperature at the North Pole. The North Pole is surrounded by an ocean. The water of the ocean retains heat so temperatures at the North Pole are warmer than in the South Pole. The South Pole is located on the continent of Antarctica. Which is a large snow and ice covered land mass surrounded by ocean. In addition, the elevation of the South Pole is 9,300 feet, 2,900 meters. While the North Pole is at sea level, resulting in colder temperatures at the South Pole. Finally, the combination of snow, ice, and extremely dry air reflects nearly 75% of the incoming solar radiation. Any heat that is radiated back to the atmosphere is lost. Instead of being absorbed by water vapor in the atmosphere,